From its very first moment, Gran Turismo Sport floods the player with a melancholic symphony of sound and picture that takes you back to the racing days of old. Racing, not merely driving. GT Sport puts all its focus on the sheer thrill and heavy disappointment that comes about from the result of a closely contested race. And it's this undying focus on its proud identity that makes Gran Turismo Sport so different from its competition. As the title of the game points out, it's all about the competition. This isn't the Gran Turismo of old with a planet-sized garage filled with a thousand cars and a burgeoning 100-hour career mode. While many might be turned off by Polyphony's proposition and the future of the series that director Kazunori Yamauchi envisions, I would implore you to take a dive and test your racing medal before skipping GT Sport. The magic of the game is its ability to gather players of all skill levels in an arena of competition and coming out with a sense of accomplishment or a drive to improve. This isn't the highly anticipated Gran Turismo 7 that many were looking for, but it doesn't have to be. It's a lovely detour that has recaptured my love for sheer competition. Before heading online though, players can hop into one of three modes from the immensely important driving school to the equally fun and frustrating exercises in Mission Challenge, as well as breaking down individual tracks and developing a know-how in circuit experience. Having not played a Gran Turismo title since the very end of the last generation, and after blowing my first race, I began to see a steady rise in my ability after completing a good portion of the campaign content. GT Sport throws out the traditional campaign while still incorporating custom races, trials, split screen, and VR race in the offline arcade mode. Instead, it focuses on building the player's raw driving ability to then take into the online component, which is the core of the game, with players being able to take part in daily races before next month's developer-held tournaments roll in. Players can go on to improve their driver rating and sportsmanship rating. The game demands you to play nice, as even slightly dinking opposition vehicles will hurt both racers and affect their ratings. The connective tissue between all the play modes is the play experience itself, and Gran Turismo has never felt as good. The game isn't too harsh on the player with its firm but comfortable driving physics, and there's a wide gamut when it comes to how different cars feel. It isn't as pronounced as something like Project Cars, but even with the DualShock 4, there's a ton of nuance in how the game controls, making for an exhilarating experience when driving the fastest cars. However, there aren't many to choose from this time out, as a little over 150 make the cut. This is also the case with the amount of tracks clocking in at 40 with many developer-created courses accompanied by a mere handful of official circuits. However, based on the series' past, there will most likely be a gluttony of free DLC for players to mess around with in the coming months. With all the fun I've had on the course, I was somehow more impressed with what a Gran Turismo game did off of it. Polyphony have finally delivered a logical UI setup, as well as a social space for players to post their best ratings, chat amongst one another, and share photos in the immaculate scapes mode that allows you to place up to three cars in real-world settings and comes packed with a gluttony of camera options. It's the small additions that go a long way, and I spent far too much time snapping pictures and posting completed goal challenges. The simplistic UI is a breath of fresh air, with most of the space being taken up by stunning car art. Beautiful vista shots of supercars being washed by moonlight, or overlooking a city at high noon are simply breathtaking, as cinematic angles capture the world's best cars in the most serene of settings. Gran Turismo Sport is a game that is both very good on the track, and incredibly important for the future of the genre. While I would still love to see a return to a traditional game in the form of Gran Turismo 7, the focus on sport and competition is the game's most impressive asset, putting it in the category of the greats that came before it. <laughs>